If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple. I summed it out in the rental, Sonata, the presidential. Speak once and listen twice, they told me that less is simple. What's good, family? You know, I had to revisit one of the most beautiful verbal combat I saw against Tariq Nasheed. And the only reason why I want to put this in the space again, because I think it deserves more views than it has received. See, I'm only putting this out here because many of you brothers that come on channels like mine and others, you love to think people just want to destroy our brothers. But I think you misjudge the word brother when it comes to a liking of Tariq Nasheed. And I, I thought I would leave this alone, but I can't. Because this sister demonstrated more testicular fortitude than most of you brothers in that FBA cult. None of you ever have real dialogue. It's like, yes, daddy, yes, daddy, None of you ask questions or anything. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And for anybody else in the black conscious community, in the black community in general, that reveres a Tariq Nasheed and feels like you'll be a hater if you say something that goes against his narrative, I'm going to show you how a sister could give a damn about a brother that wants to divide his people, a brother that only knows how to target so-called black folks but doesn't want to stand up to the white supremacy agenda that he has been pushing for years only to grift and grift over onto the next hustle. I'm gonna show you. Now, once I finish playing this, I'll give my commentary. And by the way, if you want to look for the entire broadcast of Tariq's backlash that he had to stand there and take, you gotta check out the pen and paper. You know, this sister was on point. Now I'm dropping it again. Yeah, I don't waste my, my I don't waste my time with people who steal from the black community. I just want to know why the room is catering to this guy when he has stolen money from black people. And I also want to know why he is derailing a reparations march all because he couldn't turn in a permit the right way. So in one, I don't know no grown ass man who still uses a Yahoo email account as a business account. And I definitely don't know no a, gro a grown ass adult male who used K Flex number four for life. Like that's some MySpace shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's already like He's already like debunked his own self. Like I don't even know why anyone's taking him seriously. And number two, right? So we know he's a demagogue, right? We know he co-ops already existing movements and leeches onto them. And then he'll sit mm -hmm. there and tell y'all, and y'all asking him, how are y'all gonna get reparations when he himself is not a reparations expert? Y'all, and then he's trolling y'all and telling y'all not to troll him back. So if and he I'm can dish it out, y'all like can y'all can give it right back to him. Y'all do not, not have to baby like this you. guy. He is no one. It, this is I'm why we, we need okay. to have a standard in the black community, period. When anyone comes into the black community and grifts, you get rid of that motherfucker. You shut him out and you choke him out. There's no way he should be given like any kind of mic or any way to explain or any way to rebrand so he can get more followers because that's the only reason why he's here. He's here so he can get content for his YouTube and so he can convince his people that he's still the same person who can drag Africans. Don't let, don't give him that chance. That and everyone's I'm questioning him now. Man. Everyone's like, man, if he's this guy who should know how to handle business, how come he can't send an email? All you got to do is hit reply. He could even do that right. And not only that, if you look at the dates of the email, they're literally a month apart. If he really wanted to do this rally like he said he did, he would have followed proper protocol and get that shit done. The sad part is, right, is he kept saying how he had other people working for him. You mean all y'all motherfuckers can send an email correctly to get a rally done? And then not only that, once a brother who had good intentions to get it done gets it done instead of having his people be like all right y'all my, my dumb ass don't know how to spell so i fucked up i also don't know how to get a good email i decided to use my myspace email so they didn't take me seriously right i also don't know how to write an email because if you look at the format of the email i am tariq nasheed is not how anyone with any common sense writes an email but we'll let that slide right because not everyone is on that level but like he demonstrates every day, right? So the thing is, is once that happens, right, he should have told Rashad, you know, brother, you did what I couldn't. I got you. 
we're gonna go ahead and follow your lead. No, instead, he so sees the doubt, right? He starts talking about, well, you know, family, the FBI's is why I couldn't send an email. And it's like, no, it wasn't. It was because your dumb ass didn't know how to send it correctly. And if you would have done it in a timely manner, you would have gotten a permit, like he demonstrated. Because what ended up happening is he posted these emails, right? And when people pointed out, like, bro, you didn't even send it to the right place, he deleted them. He deleted them. So if you look at his post now, he deleted him because he knew he fucked up. And instead of getting on mic and be, you know, someone of integrity and be like, you know what, y'all, I'm dyslexic. I fucked up. No, instead, he's like, he's downing another black American. So when he tells y'all like, oh, these Africans for us, look at his behavior. Who has been the number one obstructionist to reparations? There is no point in time, if you look at the history of reparations, which started off as a Pan-African movement, and if y'all know who Queen Mother Moore is, y'all will understand how we got here today. There is no one, no, no point in time in which we tied immigration to reparations. It never happened. It wasn't until these grifters came along, sponsored by the far right, who then co-opted the movement. Why? To sow division in the black community. Why? So that he can get people who now who used to be on the fence about reparations, now you have people not even wanting reparations anymore. You got people questioning reparations. You got people fighting about reparations. You got people scheduling fights on the fucking streets in LA instead of scheduling time to meet up and strategize about what reparations look like. You got people downing HR 40, the only study that's up for federal. That's y'all, that's like y'all thing for reparations, right? He's not helping that. Instead, he's doing exactly what Breitbart, Sinclair, and P. Fair pays him to do, and that's act as a grifter and a divisive person within the community. You do not baby someone like that. You treat them as dangerous as they are. You see how he can't be held accountable, not any which way? You ask him a real question, he brings up a fly swatter. What kind of weird shit is that? And then when y'all clown him back, what does he do? He cries and he flees. Let him flee because he can't handle his shit. The reason why he targets certain people, when he, t- he, ca- he latches on, he latches on to the red pill movement, right? He finds lonely people who are looking for an identity and he tells them, I'll give you an identity, I'll help you. And he creates a cult. And that cult's not allowed to question him. Now, listen to me, let the sister cook, okay? This is a trial. Can I read the shit on trial? Okay? It's time to uh, <laughs> run away. Well, I'm just going to finish real quick. The thing is, is he came on here to get content. He's being shut out left and right from his circles. His people are questioning him. So what he's doing, he's trying to find easy targets. And that's not to be disrespectful to anyone in the room. I'm just trying to give you all the real. What he's doing now is he needs to rebrand and he needs to fill his space because he's lost his following. Don't give him the chance to do that. Um, Fifi, I was listening to that, sister. That's exactly how you treat him. He is a joke. You treat him as a joke. He is corny. This is a corny dude who used to be on MTV giving makeovers to white boys as a fake ass pimp. As a fake ass pimp co-opting other people's fucking personas and identities and shit. You run his that motherfucker down each and every time. Do not give him any validity. You're up here asking him reparations questions. He's not on a task force. So why are you asking him? That's all I got to say, y'all. Go away to pack him up. Go away to pack him up. Look, look, Okay, so influence, right, is what the people give you. If the people give you that power, you can take it right back. So if you listen to any time I talk to Tariq, I always hold him accountable for being anti-African and hold FBA and other hate groups being anti-African. If y'all have been in spaces with me, I've also produced receipts on how they're actually backed by a far-right think tank. So that's not something you have to explain to me. I know that very clearly. But I also know, too, is that when you deal with demagogues, there's a certain way you deal with them. When you deal with grifters, there's a certain way you deal with them. You don't address them as though they're real and serious. You you, you embrace Embarrass them. You put your foot on their neck and you You're choke like, them. You hold them accountable for the hurt they've done to black people. The Tariq actually had a live where he said that, yo, family, I'm going to tell you right now is that, you know, black white supremacists that came at me and they offered me money, family. I didn't take it in the way you know I take it is when I start shitting on Africans. He literally told it years ago that if he starts shitting on black people and causing that division that he posted, he also made a post to say that the strategists, the NSA strategists, that they said that they had a strategy to divide Africans and black yeah, Americans. Cook, uh, now, wow. now, now, fast forward to 2022, and what is this agent doing? Dividing Africans and yeah. black people. And not only that, but he has money to water to reparations. If you look at CNN, Don Lemon, and this cracker was on there, she used a talking point that Tariq Nasheed started pushing just a couple wow. years ago, right? When Don Lemon asked her about reparations, her response was that, why should we pay reparations when Africans sold all the Africans into slavery? Understand how important that is, because this was already debunked from Pan-Africans who are fighting for 
reparations oh, decades ago. Like we had killed that argument. Queen Mother Moore, W. E. Du Bois, uh, and he always says whining, right? Because he can't because produce facts. But he really also said that Harriet Tubman is not considered whining. FBA because she decided to be free from slavery. Understand this dude that's is a, nothing but a liar. He has no validity. This dude don't even read. Like the shit he says is so wrong and easily debunked. And y'all and y'all and that's weird. Why are y'all calling this brother historian? Who don't know any historical facts? Like, you're come on, y'all. This is a guy, right? He says he you're charges y'all up and sends his minions. Uh, he he sends, I got this, y'all. Hold on real quick. He sends his minions, right, to come into y'all spaces and to to harass black Africans, right, and say that y'all don't know black his, black American history. But when you quiz these people, these minions on black American history, they don't know it. And he also doesn't know it. So first of all, anybody who endured the hardships of slavery deserves to be compensated. And, Shut the fuck up, Tariq. Listen to what she has to say, okay? And also, it's all on video. Lying this is all on quiet. YouTube. He came into the Pan-African warlord space, right? And he came in there at night and he literally said that we asked him questions about his rhetoric already. And that's why it's already been debunked and he doesn't need to be asked the same questions again. He came in there and said Harriet Tubman would not be considered FBA because she's a fleer. He called Harriet Tubman a fleer. Said that she fled. Understand, a resistance fighter like Harriet Tubman who fought against these crackers and freed her people who wanted to be free. He dismissed her history because he couldn't, he couldn't wrap his FBA fake ass rhetoric on there. That's and understand how FBA got started in the first place, right? It no only got lie. started because he Yvette no Carnell didn't want to split power with him. So he decided to take his thing and create something fake, right? Knowing that he's preying on the condition of black people to do so. That's his MO. Okay, the pen and paper. Get your thoughts together, because right now he's not even hearing what you have to, what do you say? So let's just move on to the Sister Doza from Cameroon. Go ahead. Big shout out to Cameroon. Go ahead. I got Tethers in here lying. So I'm, I'm just going to say one more thing because the thing is, is that the truth should be lie. for the space and not for this liar, right? He's, of course, he's not going to be listening to the truth. This is for the space. Lying. This is what you do when someone that's comes into the black community, down. steals yeah. from the black that's community, that's and sit there and cause suspicions between Africans and black Americans and derails the reparations movement. You pull that motherfucker up, you pin him on the wall, and y'all keep stomping on his fucking neck. And you use him as an example that anyone that the FBI and the government uses as an They're agent again. This is how agents get treated. That's how you do it. You don't sit there and say, "Oh, we need." He needs to listen to us. No, fuck him. Fuck him. He literally has a white mom who's been hustling and and doing and stealing from Haiti. He lets that cracker sit in his house comfortable while she continues to steal from black people. She's also an ex fucking cop who used to. She basically is a slave trader. And this dude, this dude has this cracker comfortable in his fucking house. So fuck him. He doesn't have shit to say to any black person. Not only that, he also said that white people can have access to reparations. Look at who, what kind of agent shit is that? It's supposed to be for black Americans, right? But he wants practice to come in. Also, pull up his spaces where he talks to white supremacists and one shot he calls them yes sir for two hours while they call him every nigger jigger. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so... Let it's like the immigration office in here is chaos. And see, that's all he got. He sounds like a whole ass cracker. He sounds like someone who sucked Ben Shapiro's dick. And that's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't say, you don't hear that white like supremacist in him. Fucking he's on the white supremacist. He's a fucking that's weak that's ass that's bitch. That's and that's, 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 that's how the fuck you treat him. He already revealed himself for what he is. No self respecting black man talks like that. Malcolm X already told us to watch out for these weak fucks like this. That these weak fucks come in here, they co op movements. He literally, while we were at the height, Police brutality uprising. He was on in his basement on a fucking microphone talking about how these protests don't work. This is why you failed in your homeland. Hold on, I'm the motherfucker host, okay? You genetically you're African, right? Mm Mhm. Okay, so that does that mean you're African? Genetically, but hell, Africans. Okay, where in Africa can I go? as a citizen, because they don't accept me as an African over there. I can't go to some country over there if I don't have $50,000 or more and say, hey, I'm your brother, let me in this country as a citizen. None of those countries allow me over there with, with easy citizenship. So who am I accepted by in those African nations as a national or as a citizen? 
that's been happening, sir? Why, Tell us what's why, happening, Tariq. Why are you going to the small spaces? You never be interacting with nobody on the app, but your spaces. What's happening now? You lonely, honey? What's going on? Yeah, you know, it's early in the afternoon, so I'm just chopping it up, just saying hi to people and just reaching out. Since and see, when did you start you know? caring about us little people? You've been oh. doing your thing. You know Man, I mean? you're, you're, you're little, but your forehead is big, so that's the only thing that matters. i seen your baby mom's face, so I know you're not talking about my forehead. Mm -hmm. Oh, and i seen her asshole, too, and her pussy as well, because mm -hmm, she used to be a stripper. Love it. Remember when you wanted to be a rapper, but you couldn't get the deal, the little mixtape on YouTube, the woman that's, you know, her ass is up in the air and got a little G-string? Yeah, baby. So let's not talk about foreheads right now, because my forehead is a lot smaller. You see? Oh, no, Dr. Tariq, oh, Tariq does tend to always drag people out, talk about us women, African women, African men in his spaces. So I think it's always, you know, it's fair. He never sticks to the title. You know, as you know, it's always a clickbait, right? An opportunity to drag black people, Africans to cause hate, right? So one of the things I found out, Dr. Abbas, that he has done is he actually admitted, okay, in a space that... Um, he got his heart broken by a rich young girlfriend, and that's one of the reasons why he calls us tethers and hates Africans. So can we? Can you go on the record confirming that? Because I do have a witness. You still What's don't know your. Ju so you still don't know where Djibouti is located, and I, 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 I is that what you're saying? I, last time I spoke to you, I told you I was from Djibouti. You didn't even know where the fuck that was, but you're wearing a suit and tie, and you're acting all educated, writing all these fake book books. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, it's, Stealing it's, from other people's material, right? No. And then claiming it as yourself. You know that that's that's an infringement of copyright. Do you have any cases impeding against you for stealing people's information and using it as yourself, Mr. Tariq Nasheed? No, no, no. Were you flipping tricks like your wife was in no. the strip club? No, no. She was out I mean, here. you married and procreated with a woman who had no, literally no. all these type of dick inside no. of her ass no. and her no. pussy hole. So no. I'm just wondering, no. like, no. you no. married no. that. You married that. Why would you want to procreate and with a stripper? I, uh, I was Why would you want to procreate with a woman that had nutted inside of her? All these men have nutted your inside grandma. of her. She has swallowed so many semen. And Nobody's you projected. decided you decided to marry her and wife her. So that woman at Motel 6 happens to be the stripper that been sucking you off for years. And she sucked that dick so good. So good that you decided to put a ring on it. Because you see, you come from an era where you can turn a hoe into a ho house wife right that's the era that you come from because you're older than me you were born in the 70s baby right so i don't know if you want to talk about your criminal record i don't know if you want to talk about the fake ass museum that's that's looking at like it's at some daycare center the recent sex tape in the timeline there's just so much to talk about Tariq. but the last person you should be speaking on is my grandmother and you see the difference between dr abbas and myself is we happen to be africans and we're united and we don't fall for divide and conquer so when a woman speaks to you especially an african woman you're not gonna jump over her and say i want to talk to the man because you see in your spaces you have demasculated black african men correct so therefore you're going to speak to this alpha african woman and you decided to come into our space which means you are going to play by our rules and you're going to play by our command you see what i'm saying this is a panel this is not like we're not going to treat him some like some fucking prophet he shits and pisses like the rest of us who the fuck is this motherfucker do you know what the fuck my father yes. did for black people you motherfucker you 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 disgusting piece of shit do you know who the fuck my father that gave birth to me did for the black community? More than the fuck shit that you did. With your fucking cocaine crackhead and your criminal record history marrying a fucking stripper. And oh, I'm gonna be the new Malcolm X. You disrespected Malcolm X. You disrespected the fucking black history and the legacy of black people who died. Who died. And who are fucking aggrieved by the deaths and the trauma that's fucking happening in the United States of America that are angry and sick. And you made a mockery of these of, of people that have died because you're pretending to be another bootlegged version of of, of Malcolm X that, that happens to just be on crack and and, and, and smoking fucking Xenex. Yeah, you're a fucking cool. Yeah. That's what the fuck you are. I'm gonna call ICE. I'm gonna call ICE, nigga. You don't work for the fucking immigration. What the fuck do you think? In Mortal Kombat, we call that a fatality. And while I'm not into the whole you know, not refraining, you know, or rather having discipline with your emotions. I understand with the sisters, it's quite all right when she's using passion. That was passion. A lot of you guys will say she was out of control because I saw that in other people's spaces on the same content and they were saying she was out of control. 
missing every key point she was hitting your boy Tariq with. Every key point she was combating him with because it's to the point a brother like him who refuses to engage in proper dialogue, who only has comical deflection tactics, you slain that boy with verbal combat. You show that boy he is not welcome in any space unless he pays restitution. Restitution in being humbled, restitution in apologizing, restitution in doing some of the damages he's caused. If he's not repairing that, you don't give that boy an iota of a chance to speak. This is how you flame a grifter like Tariq Nasheed. And folks, all I can say is bravo. Bravo to the sister. Bravo to you if you took the chance to hear this. And if you heard this already and just wanted to, you know, refresh yourself and hear it again, bravo to you. Because this is how you do people in our community who is the problem. The boy had Vivica faded Fox in his so-called storefront church. Now y'all think the brother made it. You think the brother, you know, is worthy of the 1.5, whatever it was, millions he received. Because Vivica Fox on that old you know, coon show that has nothing but old women that has been nothing of help in the black community. Vivica Fox came out. Wow. Wow. You know, Mr. Kaba came out. Another brother who doesn't, you know, um, put away Tariq's rhetoric of xenophobic hate. I mean, a lot of these people showed up. What did it mean, though? So hearing this sister, the pen and paper, do your boy dirty the way he should have been done by a lot of these elders that parade around with him. This is how you do a grifter, folks. That was it, man. It's your boy Gravitating Away TV. I feel like I gotta come out with, with something heavy, man, out here in this space, man. I feel like that fueled me up. If my sister's going this strong, Forget those of you that come in my channel asking me why I do this, why I do that. If you don't like it, go make your own channel. Go make your channel and keep perpetrating this rhetoric your daddy Tariq been doing. Let's see how many people really gonna rock with that. I'm out, y'all.